Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making these super small coffee cups. Okay. This is a small, small coffee cup. You can see it's like an inch. Let's see. So it's like an inch and one eighth of a size it's super small and it's perfect for let's say paper clips like the small paper clips that i've been using um look so that could be there so we're gonna be using this this small die and this came from the stampin up die called let me see. Let me get you bigger. This is the coffee dye that I've been using. But the dye set is this one. Let me show you. Coffee cup framelits dye. Okay. And this is the coordinating stamp set from Stampin' Up. So that's what we're going to be using to make this. Right there. Okay. So we're going to make a boatload using this small die. Using this puncher and some scissors and glue gun so let's get started see I have all these from the punch All right, guys, now I'm done with the coffee cups. Um, I want to show you some of them and then we'll decorate some of them. I'm going to be using this super tiny Journal Studio Amy Tangerine um, small stickers. See how small it is compared to my finger. Um, I think this would be good. This would be a good addition to to the coffee cups because some of them I did not decorate so let me show you what I've decorated so far so this one there's a heart in the middle it's so tiny you can see the details of my finger sorry I ate an orange I peeled an orange earlier sorry about me there that's so much better so small so that's one this is my favorite of all because of the blue and the floral they are so small and cute. And then I have a duplicate of that. Um, and then this one says Happy Mail. This one says Love This. That is so tiny. I've never made this tiny embellishments before right there I love this paper so if you're interested or if you want to know what paper I used so I got this from Joann's and this is called um, oh I have this one this is called Park Lane Color Play yeah let me show you uh, let me see yeah this is what it looks like so it came from a 6 by 6 so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make embellishments using this and I'm trying to finish it off. But it's very difficult to finish off a 24 sheet paper um, pad if you're making tiny embellishments because you don't need so much. And so let me show you what I have again. So I have this. 
so that paper pad had um, gold foiling and then this one and then we have some of these that we can decorate together this one I found on the floor that's why it doesn't have a lid um, we're getting ready to go to dinner so you're gonna hear some background noise because my son is playing his video games it's a puffy sticker sorry about the noise guys but everybody's home because of the quarantine situation the babies are home with us so this, I'm not sure if this is it I think some of this is too big I think the heart I don't have the heart enamel dots you know the one that you get from doodlebug and that would have been perfect as centers for these I don't know if I like that but I don't have a lot of options here I guess the lemon would be the best bet because well, I guess the flower this orange flower would be okay to give dimension that's cute uh, this one would be a good contrast to the dark blue um, This is cute. The watermelon is adorable. Right there. Not sure I want to decorate this. It's kind of have so much stuff already. Let me think about that. This one. Let's do a flower again. I think I like the one with a sleeve. I think that would be, that is quite cute. Then this one, I still also have some papers, paper stickers, but they're a little bit big. Let's see the making plans. This one. I think this is a Reset Girl sticker pad. I think that's cute and then let me see some of them are um, on the big side that's why so I tried when did I try I tried doing a live but I guess you cannot do that on your phone I don't know why I can't do a live on my phone because I just film on my phone and edit videos using InShot and I guess you can't do a Facebook live. I don't know why. This one is just, I didn't put anything in it. It's just a coffee cup that came from the dye. You know my wish guys, my wish is for like EK Success or Fiskars to create this coffee cup punch guys don't you think that would be so convenient for us crafters for them to make this so we can just punch away instead of doing the dye one at a time that would be like the best that would be in my wish list and if if any of you guys are affiliated or know anybody from fiskers in their brand product development um department can you please tell them that we need a coffee cup die in different sizes like the one that they had for the hearts wouldn't that be convenient guys i think that would be convenient if fiskars or martha stewart or anybody if they did a coffee cup this size like this tall and then a medium or a larger than this this, this could be like the small one any size i'd be happy but the dream, you know, you can dream as much as you can anyways. So there's no limit. But 
I think having a coffee cup die, a coffee cup punch would be the best. And if any of you guys have found a coffee cup puncher that I have not found, please send me a link. Please let me know down below in the comment section. I would absolutely appreciate it because I love coffee cups and suitcases. If any of you guys know a coffee cup punch that I can purchase, that will be awesome. I would absolutely love that. Anyway, talking about mini stuff. So you can attach this to a mini paper clip and then voila. I found this idea in Pinterest and so that's why I did the I did the coffee cup because I saw this and it was the coffee cup was a paper clip so that was the original intention so that was the original idea there was making a coffee cup paper clip and then you know you can you don't have to make a paper clip but that was what I saw in Pinterest you can make this into like an embellishment or like a decoration for your embellishment so see you can use this in your planner but it's too tiny I, I attached it too low see still cute though and then the back is also decorated for your planner Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys that. I thought that would be inspiring. Um, if people are in quarantine and they can't go out and they have to stay home. You know what? Play with your crafty supplies. Have fun. Be inspired. Inspire other people. Make some videos and let us know what you're making. So we can be inspired by the stuff that you're making too. So, I'm still using the Park Lane Color Play paper, right? And so, I made some of these. This one is the biggest embellishment. It's just... I really am really bad with making shaker cards, so... Shaker anything. So, I just made it into a tag because... That wasn't working out for me very well. And then, some more layered hearts. Um... So I thought that would be great use for the paper. And of course my favorite flower punch I, I've been using forever and ever. Right there. So again the, the stickers from the Maggie Holmes that, I've, that I have on my desk. More mini embellishments. Just a lot of, just a lot of um, layers. So you don't have to really think about it just punch it and and then layer it with your foam foam tape because you know it already coordinates so punch it and then I punched the flowers from the scraps that were in between the hearts I think this is my favorite I love this print so much this blueprint this blue one it's absolutely gorgeous. I know somebody who's going to like this. Sarah would probably like this because she loves blue and florals. So, Sarah, this is super cute. And I thought of you when I was making this. Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing Guys. Um, I made a mini bow punch. The mini bow punch started this making small embellishments so that's why i got stuck on it because the bow punch the mini bow punch that i got from tuesday morning was so inspiring and super cute i made this typewriter this is very difficult to make it's a lot of effort just creating one and then you can stamp your sentiment right here but i only made one because it was too labor intensive there anything that it uses punch is easy for me because it's just punching and then you can watch tv and kind of do your production kind of situation but they are so small this one is a big one it's a die that i haven't used in a while i don't remember where i got it but it's stitched if you can see the stitching i thought it was cute but it was kind of out of place because it's so big for this group of mini stuff. 
This one is so cute too. Look at that dainty flower floral print. And it's layered just like that. Um, so I'm, I was able to make a boatload of flowers. I just used my Nouveau drops in the middle. And then the leaves. I used my punch from um, Hobby Lobby. If you have this punch guys. Um, you can use your 40 off coupon but it's closed today because Hobby Lobby's closed every Sunday but you can go tomorrow what is everybody crafting now that we're doing social isolation um so for me I'm off this weekend I made all these tiny embellishments and I thought it was it would be so cute to add to any kind of project. It's so tiny. I don't normally make these cute and tiny stuff. But this was to start the bow the small bow punch helped me um inspired me to do that. Then I'm gonna add the coffee cups right here. They are so small. <laughs> And then it would be nice to package them. These are some flowers, like a boatload of flowers that I made using the scraps. I love that blue paper. Look how pretty they look. And I still have these bows to finish. But, you know, all these scraps. These are the, the paper in between the, the heart punches. So all you need to do is you have all these. And then you just let it dry for a couple hours. Use your Nouveau drops. And then you can add them to your packages. I thought they are so cute. Super, super cute. Look at that. How adorable. Super small, super cute. You can add them anywhere. I'm going to add a link to that flower punch down below from Amazon because that's where I got it. Initially, I got it Tuesday morning, but you can't, you know, it's hard to find stuff at Tuesday morning. So, if you want to make very colorful spring, summer embellishments, I love this Park Lane Color Play paper. There's more of this stuff. To play with some of them I just punch and I just put this put it in this container but I wanted to show you maybe it inspires you to use your stuff since we can't go out too much and it's raining here anyways but yeah I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow but I wanted to see if these tiny little things inspire you to use your scrap stash that's what it's all about because I'm supposedly on a no-spend month in March. To be honest, it was a little bit difficult. So I am coping very well by using all of my stash that I have anyways. So just maybe, hopefully this video helps you look at your existing things that you have in a different light. Um, hopefully that inspires you guys. Um, I hope you can consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and if you like this video, click the like button down there. Comment down below if you have any questions for me. I would love for you to subscribe. That would be super awesome. Anyway, this is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye, guys.